Hey, what's going on, everybody? And uh, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. I lost my tripod, so I did turn on my image stabilizer. So we're going to try to do this. All right, so I got some people asking me a bunch of questions, and uh, they, wanna, they want some answers. So we're going to go through this. And also, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and whom will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but not understand, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. So what does that mean? What is that saying? That says that you have a believer in Christ that is willing to take the testimony of God, of, of Jesus Christ, and go forth and tell people. Now, what we have today is a bunch of preachers that have gone forth and just tell the story of Jesus. And when we get into the story of Jesus, there's raptures in there. Um, all you have to do is believe. You don't have to follow Christ. You just have to say you believe. Go to church on the wrong days of the week. Hate people. You know, go on, go on YouTube and make Karen videos. Um, go out in public and, and make a fool of yourself, hating on people, cussing at people, you know, being uh, a hypocrite. Because you're going by the story of Jesus and not by the living word of God. And that's where a lot of people, that's their mistake. They go by the story of what their preacher tells them instead of going by the actual living word of God. Now, why is this the living word of God? Why do they call it the living word of God? Well, if you know anything about the Bible and you know anything about earth, okay, earth was created in Genesis. All right, let me get my little marker here. I don't think I need this anymore, but let me just put a marker in that. So we go to Genesis. This is when the earth is created, okay? This is when all things are created. The beginning of what we know to be earth and animals and humans and all that. Then we go at the end... Okay, we're going to go to Revelation. And we, we read about the earth that we live in being destroyed. And there's a new earth that gets formed. Well, in the story of Jesus, after the new earth is formed, according to uh, blasphemers and hypocrites... We're going to spend a thousand years with Jesus on the new earth and then judgment day. But nowhere in the Bible does it say that. God does not say that. Only preachers in the fake story of Jesus say that. There's a rapture. Oh, oh yeah, they, they, they hit up right here in 11. Right there. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. That's a rapture. That's a pre-trib, mid-tribulation rapture. But if we just turn the page backwards just for a second and actually go back and figure out who God is talking about, God is talking about the same, the two witnesses. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Okay? And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. So when does the beast come out of the bottomless pit? Well, we find out right here that after the church age, after the thousand year church age, the beast, Satan, is released from his prison and he goes out to make war. He goes out to make war with the people, with the remnant of the seed. Right? And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So those are true believers that are going to die up here in 11. Those are true believers. Okay? The remnant of the seed that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ in them. When you get over to the story, there's no talk about that, is there? No, it's a rapture. You don't have to do anything. Just say you believe. Just say you believe. 
But the thing is, God tells us in the, in the Holy Scripture that we must have a relationship with him. We got to have a relationship with God so he can guide us and take us to the new earth. If we do not have that relationship with God on this earth, we do not get access to the new earth. We are not with God here. We are not with God there. In this story, nope, just say you believe. Just say you believe. And you will be raptured up. But in, in the Holy Word, and, and this is why we have to go by the Holy Word. Check this out. This might be a mind blower for you. Everything that God has spoken about in this book, everything he has told us has already been done. That's why God needs to bind things up. He needs to contain them for their appropriate time. Okay, and we, and we can go into Revelation. We can, we can read about the plagues. God already spoke the plagues into existence. They are already in existence. They are real. They have just been bottled up. They have been sealed up until their appropriate time. When it's their time, those seals will be unsealed, you know, or the, the vials will be broken open, the seals will be broken, everything that Father has contained, He has already spoken into existence and He contained it, everything is coming out. He doesn't have to create it at that time, it's already created. And the thing is, you want to know about the, the lake of fire and brimstone? Go look at a volcano. Lava, that's the lake of fire and brimstone. It is being held. It is being contained until its appropriate time to devour this earth. To devour this earth and that's where all of the fake ones that only believe the story of Jesus and not the word of God, all the fake hypocrites out there, the fake Christians, the one that go, they go and they worship on the wrong days of the week, Sunday and Wednesday, wrong days of the week, homie. What are you doing? That's blasphemy. You're going against the word of God. You're going against the word of God when you come in and you say that there's a pre-tribulation, pre mid-tribulation rapture all because of this. And God already told us Christ returns on the last day at the last hour. And what does it say there? In the same hour was there a great earthquake. Oh, it's the last day of earth's existence. The second woe is past, and behold, the third, third woe cometh quickly. There's only three woes, and the third woe is Armageddon, Judgment Day. That's the third woe, total destruction. That's the third woe. So how is it that the second woe is done? This just happened, but yet people go by the story of Jesus and say, Oh, there's a rapture. Well, we can come over to Revelation 12, 4, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay? Now, this is what the devil is doing today. Now, look at all these people that are going out there. Oh, you can be any type of sex that you want. You can be transgender. You can be multigender. You can be fluid gender. Whatever. It's whatever you want to be. That's the devil going to make war with the children because the children are innocent and, and they don't know any better. So you got all these adults out here claiming to be Christians going by the fake story of Jesus talking about a rapture, talking about, oh, well, we have to wait 70 more years for this to happen. No, Google September 23rd, 2017, and you'll find out this happened that day. This literally happened that day. But 
Everybody was waiting for a pre-tribulation rapture. Everybody was waiting on the story that never came to fruition because God never said it was going to. God never said that. Preachers say that. God never said that. God never said there's going to be a pre-tribulation rapture. God never said there's going to be a mid-tribulation rapture. If these stories are so accurate, why is there a pre- and a mid-tribulation rapture? Don't these preachers know how to go by the word of God? Don't these preachers know how to go by the word of God? No, they don't. Look what happens to the preachers and everybody that follows the preachers talking about a thousand year reign on the new earth with Christ and then there's, a, there's judgment, uh, pre-tribulation, mid-tribulation. What happens to them? And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. So the people that are going by this story and not God's word, their names are taken out of the book of life. And they want to go around and tell people that, oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. But when I come around and I say, hey, God sent me. He sent me to tell you this. Who do I think I am? Someone from the Bible? Yeah, I do. We all are. Because this Bible is about this earth and this earth only. It's not about Mars. It's not about Jupiter. It's not about the new earth. It's not about Neptune. This is about the earth that we live on in the time that we live on it. And everybody else that's ever lived on it. The history is right here. And it's God's word. It's all truth. You come over to the preachers and they got a lot of lies. They got a lot of lies. Why is that? Now there's many, many, many people out here in the world that are really confused today. They don't really know what's going on. It's because they never got into the Bible and took God for discernment. You need a relationship with God, not with your preacher. You guys understand that? We need the relationship right here, right now with God every single day. Every day. But people only go on Sundays and Wednesdays, two wrong days of the week. They never, they never worship on the Sabbath, which is hypocritical of them makes themselves hypocrites. Who goes and worships on the wrong day and then says that they're walking with Christ? A liar. That's who says that. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. That's what I said to the Lord. That's what I said to God. Send me, God. I'll go. I'll tell him. I'll talk to him about you. I'll tell him all I know about you. You've shown yourself to me numerous times. I know you're real. I know the kingdom of God is real. I've been there. But I'm not stating the same thing that you guys are stating in the story. And Father told me, go tell them. Go tell them. And he said, go and tell, his pe tell this people. Hear ye indeed, but understand not. You guys are hearing me, but you don't understand me. You see indeed, but perceive not. You see everything that is going on. You see all the wars. You see everything that is going on today that is written about in the book of Revelation in detail numerous times and you guys don't know what you're looking at. We're here to help. And everybody keeps turning us away because we are not going by the story that their preacher is telling them.
We are going by the living word of God. That's what we choose. To, that's what we choose to go by. Hope this helps you guys out. You can go by the story, the fake story, and go worship two wrong days of the week. <laughs>